best trade achievement in ultra marathon was in Dekaman, which is 10 AM in 10 days, and 560 km in Canada Yukon Arctic Run, also as the MDS 250 km. I'm Jeff Lau, I'm an ultramarathon runner and I'm a graphic designer. I run since 2014. My best trade achievement in ultramarathon was in Dekaman, which is 10 Ironman in 10 days and 560 km in Canada Yukon Arctic Run, also as the MDS 250 km. And for my training, I do run every week, especially on the Sunday, I do a long run, 21 km every Sunday. And for Saturday, I will do a long cycling. So for my training routine, I do cycling, swimming and running. Of course, as for the weekdays, I will go to the gym and do some light weight lifting to enhance my performance in the running. So for the weekend, I will do cycling and running. And for weekdays, I will choose to swim for recovery. And why is cross training is so important for ultra marathon runner? It's because cross training not only for to strengthen your fitness, also as well as for recovery, for your mental strength, and for your of course your fitness. So cross training, what I did for cross training is swimming. Swimming is very good for my upper body and also for my recovery. So you can do many different kind of like a cross training sport, as well as you can go for kayaking or for paddling board and for myself, I will do cycling, swimming and also some weightlifting because for cycling, it's basically using the same muscle part for running but it using less body weight and this is uh, very important as well as for my mental strength. I think for my mental strength, usually for ultra marathon runner, you need a very strong mental strength to keep you on going and going for let's say 200 kilometer run or 500 kilometer run. So for me, I will choose let's say pedaling board and also swimming to enhance my mental strength. So for my advice for like a new ultra marathon runner is you have to start slow. First thing, you of course you have to have a right gear. For myself, I'm using like Under Armour like a ISO chew for my top and my bottom because for Malaysia weather training, a right gear is very important to start with. Uh, with a right gear, you can go further. Also for the running shoes, I will choose like a more for cushion. I'm very focused on the cushion for running because my body weight is a bit uh, heavy than the fast runner. So cushion for me is very important. To choose the right shoes, I will choose for the Under Armour Phantom for my casual run and also other running shoes, for example, Infinite for my training and the others. So beside that, for like a new marathon runner, this is very important, which is recovery. So recovery, what we can do for recovery, for first, we can do some swimming because you use less body weight for recovery. Secondly, when you're back to home to sleep, have a good sleep is a very important for like a recovery, which is I will choose for the Under Armour Recover Sleepwear. And for their technology, it definitely helps for your sleeping quality. And last but not least, for the advice for the new ultra marathon runner, I think is listen to your body. And of course, you have to don't go too far at first, just build up slowly. So what is ultra marathon distance? As long as it's more than 42 km, we consider as ultra marathon. So depends what kind of distance you target. So for the new ultra marathon, I will advise you start with training 10 km and you so slowly build up with 15 km, 20 km and after that you can go for 35 and 42. This is my advice to start slowly to build your fitness and not going for like a quick lift to like 200 km. So from it took me like four to five years to reach what my current distance, which is like a 10 marathon in 10 days, or we call it 10 Ironman in 10 days. So it took me more than five years to have my current fitness. So start slowly and don't rush. 
Doing a long distance run training every day for me is pretty uh, harmful for your health because I think body is very important to have a good recovery before you restart again. So for me, recovery is very important and you shouldn't push too hard for your training unless you're preparing for a race. So I think that one is very important. And currently, my favorite running shoes will be Under Armour Hover Phantom 2. So these shoes, I love running on the park because it's very pretty and the design is very cool, especially in the nighttime. So there's a many color option and this one I choose for the white, which is in the nighttime, you can run on the park and I think it's pretty stylish, but I don't advise you train with these running shoes. I think it's good to run with uh, for 10K or 15K and or you can run on the treadmill as well. Under Armour Hover Phantom 2 is very light in weight and for the cushioning part, it's my favorite, of course. Also, it's like dry very fast and also it's keep you warm for your feet. And this is very important because the drying technology is suitable for Malaysia, this humidity, which is we sweat a lot even in the night run. So for the fast dry technology, I think this shoe is very suitable for Malaysia weather and also as in the Southeast Asia weather.